Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm here with a review on the Crafton Awesome Pan. I picked this up from Audi and it was on sale for about $24.99. It was a really good buy. And this is a dupe of the Our Place Always Pan. So I don't have the Always Pan, but I wanted to try the Awesome Pan. And since it was on sale, I was like, let me go ahead and pick it up and give it a try. So the pan comes in three different color options. You have the matte black, beige, and dusty blue. I picked up the dusty blue color. So I do have my receipt right here and it was $24.99. And I think this is just the original price at um, Audi, $24.99. So I don't think that's the sale price. The original price is $24.99. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my um, unboxing and I'm gonna give you also a rundown of the features of the pan. So this pan is made with um, an aluminum body. It's supposed to provide a uniform heat distrib distribution. So the lid and the actual pan is made out of aluminum. The inside has the Fusion T non-stick coating, and that's made out of ceramic. And the pan feels really, really light. It's not heavy at all, especially the lid. It's really light. You think that you're just kind of like picking up maybe a toy lid. That's how light it is. So also this pan is compatible with a gas, electric, glass ceramic, halogen, and an induction cooktop. So it pretty much, you can pretty much use whatever cooktops you have available. And this sheet here is the use and care instructions. It's basically giving you tips on how to take care and preserve your um, pan and also how to use it. So it does say um, when baking with it, it can withstand up to 300 um, degrees. And then also for best cooking results, you wanna use it on low to medium heat. And it also gives you instructions on how to clean it. And it's recommended that you um, hand wash opposed to dishwasher. It's not dishwasher compatible, so it's best to just clean it with um, using your hand, hand washing. So the color I picked up is the dusty blue, and I just wanna say that I love the color. It is so pretty to me. I'm just obsessed with this color, and I wish that they had more pots and pans. I just love it. It's one of my favorite pans so far just because of the presentation. I think it's gorgeous. And although the pan is light, it still feels very um, premium. It doesn't feel cheap at all. It feels like a good pan, so I just can't wait to use it. So I am gonna do um, an egg demo. I'm gonna go ahead and fry an egg and maybe do some bacon just to see how it um, works out. And I'm gonna use the induction cooktop as well. So I washed and dried the pan and now I'm just gonna go ahead and drop in the egg. And the skillet is hot. I have it on like 300 um, degrees and it just set up well once I dropped the egg inside of the skillet. I guess because it is at um, a high temperature, the egg just set up. It didn't run all over the place. It's just in one spot and it's cooking. So we'll see how it does. And I forgot to mention, I didn't use any type of oil cooking spray or any type of butter or anything. This pan is just um, clean and I dried it and I just put it on the heat and that's about it. I don't have any thing in the pan to prevent it from sticking because I just want to see how well it does and if it's truly non-stick. So as you can see the egg just kind of looks the same. It's probably been in the skillet for a few minutes now and it looks as if I just dropped it in. So I'm going to do my best to try to flip it and see if it's ready to turn over. And I'm just going to try to do an over easy or over medium egg. I'm going to flip it and I totally screwed it up. I didn't flip it properly but I did flip it. It's a little scorch but it's not too bad. And it did cook on one side and it, it didn't stick at all which is which is very surprising because i didn't use any type of butter and you can just move it around in the skillet this skillet is amazing this is my first use guys and i just think that it's living up to its to its height with this fusion um ceramic technology it's it looks amazing to me so as i would say about this pen i think the cleanup when you use it is going to be pretty simple especially when you're making something like egg. You don't have to worry about the, the egg is getting stuck to the skillet. So now I'm gonna do some bacon. And I'm gonna lay a few strips of bacon inside the pan and just see how well it fries up. And because my strips are kind of wide, I guess I can only fit about three slices inside of the pan, which is no big deal. I'm just doing a test run. Typically I put my bacon in the air fryer. So I haven't fried bacon in quite some time. So I'm just curious to see how well this fries in this pan. So 
So I think one side of the bacon is done, it needs to be flipped. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip it over. And it's cooking pretty well. It's not sticking to the skillet. I don't even have a lot of um, popping action going on. So um, I'm kind of impressed with this skillet, you guys. So let me finish up the bacon. Okay, this bacon looks done to me. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, remove it from the pan. And I just have to say, this pan is awesome. I think it lives up to its name, the awesome pan. I haven't had any sticking issues. I didn't get grease popping all over the place. It seemed as if the bacon cooked evenly. It, it looks like the bacon came out of the air fryer because that's how I cook my bacon in the air fryer. So I just think that this pan is um, pretty awesome. So if you're interested, run down to your local Audi and just go ahead and pick one up. I think it's a pretty good pan and it's only $24.99. And it's not a sponsored video. I use my own money to pay for this. And I just think it's a good buy. I just wish that they had more pots or pans available because I would definitely get one. So this is the eggs and bacon that I cooked in the awesome pan. And I think that um, they came out pretty good considering I didn't use any oil for those eggs. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.